What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And today I'm going to show you how to install and use uh, Microsoft Power Toys. Power Toys has recently been released for Windows 11 as a beta, and there's lots of really cool features that can help um, speed up your processes and workflows in Windows 11. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, I want to give a huge shout out to Todd M and Leslie Media. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. If you want to support this channel, click on that join or thanks button below. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Microsoft Store and search for Power Toys. You're going to go to Microsoft Power Toys and hit install. And once you install Power Toys, Should just take a second. You can close this and actually go to start and type in Power Toys. You'll see that it's a preview. And once you open this up, it's going to explain all the different features and keyboard shortcuts that you can use to um, open and change settings. All right, so we need to run as an administrator. So uh, let's go ahead and click yes. All right, so here is Power Toys. And you can see that it has um, updates set to automatically run. You can turn this on or off. You can choose always run as administrator. That's um, useful because of situations that we just saw where it asks you to set that up first but here we have all of the different tools we can use in power toys so we have awake which can keep your pc awake during certain times um, similar to the mouse jigglers that keep the uh, screensavers from running if you um, have certain restrictions on your computer or um, any other reason that you need to keep your pc awake at certain times you can also choose uh, to keep it awake temporarily or um, set it up depending on when you want it. So you could say, uh, right now it's inactive, so it can actually go to sleep, or we can choose keep awake indefinitely, and it'll always stay on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because I don't need this one. Color picker is really useful, um, especially if you're in design or graphics of any type. Um, it can really help if we do uh, Windows Shift C. We get the color picker. And we can drag it anywhere here. We can get these nice blues, get the exact hex color, find a pink. Let's click on that. And it'll give us the hex, RGB, and um, HSL codes here to set into uh, Photoshop or in your web development or whatever you're using. Very, very useful. We have Fancy Zones, which creates window layouts to uh, make multitasking easier. So if you hit, um, let's see, Shift, Windows, and Tilde. It opens up fancy zones. I'm not sure if you guys can see this because uh, it's an overlay, but you can choose how you'd like your templates to be set up. You can have um, three rows or any kind of uh, grid you'd like to set up for the zones. Um, we also have file explorer add-ons. So uh, you'll get previews for SVG and MD files as, and PDFs as well. Instead of just showing the icon, it'll actually show you what's in them, which is really useful. Um, image resizer is also very useful. Um, you can choose a set of sizes to save it as, so like uh, 1920 by 1080, for example, and what kind of encoding to use it as. Um, we can do Keyboard Manager, which will let you remap keys on your keyboard if you don't have, um, for example, Razer has their own software, but if you have a standard keyboard that doesn't have software to remap, you can remap any key into a shortcut or even um, multiple keys at once, like a macro. Uh, we have Power Rename, which will let you rename multiple files at once. So you can highlight a bunch of them, right-click, show more options, and go to Power Rename. And it'll let you rename all of them and um, set specific settings on how you want them renamed, like with numbers at the end or you know different things like that. Um, you can go to Power Toys Run, which um, when we hit uh, Alt and Space... Uh, we have our run menu here, and we can, for example, type in visual, and it'll say Visual Code Studio or whatever apps or files we need to find. It's a really quick way of finding it, and you just click off to let it um, close. And then the shortcut guide, um, which will show you all the different Windows 10 shortcuts so you don't forget. So Windows, Shift, and then uh, Backslash, and you'll get all of these different um, controls 
to remind you of what all the keys do. So you use Windows 1 to open the first icon, 1 through 8, and then Windows A, Windows G for the game bar, etc. Uh, it's really useful to have this um, as a reference just to make it really easy, and you press Escape to close that. Um, there are more power toys um, in earlier versions of Windows, but they're still in beta, so it's slowly moving over to Windows 11. But um, yeah, it's a pretty great feature. Um, lots of useful um, updates to the Windows 11 system itself without um, having to use third-party tools. Um, well, I mean, I guess this is no, it's still made by Microsoft, so it's not third-party. <laughs> uh, let me know what you think about this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. Peace. What? You've never heard of Stream Savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? <laughs> I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99, and that's a great price.